give it up or give it to your deadliest enemy and pay for the rope that will choke you. This is very urgent business, ladies and gentlemen, I beseech you. Resist it while you still can and before the right to complain is taken away from you, which will be the next thing. You will be told you can't complain because you're Islamophobic. The term is already being introduced into the culture as if it was an accusation of race hatred, for example, or, or, or bigotry, whereas it's only the objection to the preachings of a very extreme and absolutist religion. Watch out for these symptoms. They are not just symptoms of surrender, very often ecumenically offered to you by men of God in other robes, Christian and Jewish and smarmy ecumenical. These are the, these are the ones who will hold open the gates for the barbarians. The barbarians never take a city till someone <coughs> holds open the gates tickets. open for them. And it's your own preachers who will do it for you and your own multicultural authorities who will do it for you. Resist, resist it while you can. And if you wonder what will happen if you don't, look and see how a cricket team in Middlesex in England had to change its name by force last week because it was called and had been for years the Middlesex Crusaders. Look and see how stories about little pigs can't be taught to children in English schools anymore unless offence be taken by the religion of peace. Resist it while you can. One of the things that is coming up over and over again um, is Islamophobia. And, well, you can see the stats, you can see the numbers rising, particularly since October the 7th. Although we shouldn't fall into the trap of thinking that before October the 7th, um, this was all heading in the right direction. It's been far too high for far too long. Clearly, we need to just say over and over again, um, Islamophobia is intolerable. Uh, it can never, ever be uh, justified. And we have to continue with a zero tolerance approach. And I think there's more we can do in government. There's certainly stuff online, which I think needs tackling much more robustly than it is at the moment. What I'm hoping, Kerry, is your experience as a prosecutor means you'll be thinking about the strategy we can use to make sure we take action against those who break the law.